They say that the five people you hang around with the most is who you will become. We've been hanging around a lot of people over the summer that live in houses. Are our RV full-time days coming to an end? Let's go down that road. Hello, faithful people. I'm Orlean. And I'm Gary. And we are out for a hike. <laughs> it was supposed to be a short one because we're supposed to be checking out of the campground today. Um, but the maps are not always very accurate. And we did not come prepared again. <laughs> well, fortunately, we're on the shorter side now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Anyway, we thought this would be a good time to talk to you a little bit about what's been happening with us over the summer. Um, we are now into our fifth year of living full-time RV. Oh. Hey, there's a map. Okay. We've run across a few uh, little detours on this, which has kind of goofed us up a little bit. And it was not supposed to rain, and we're fearing sprinkles now. And we're a ways away yet from the campground, we think. <laughs> because we don't know where we are. We're on Rabbit Run Pass. Yes, we just found that out, but that wasn't on the map. Okay. Well, surprise, surprise. anyway, <laughs> I was just saying how warm it, I was because we've been walking for a ways now and uh, it's starting to rain, so should <laughs> we should cool, cool off. Time. Yeah, <laughs> I may have to stop filming if it rains too much. Anyway, we have been around a lot of people over the summer that live in houses. Some of our friends live in houses, our family lives in houses. And we have stayed at uh, quite a few driveways and parking lots, church parking lots, things like that. And they all have houses. Mm -hmm. And every time, every summer when we come back to visit family and friends, we start thinking that way. Maybe we should look at getting something else. Maybe we should look at getting into something like a house or an apartment or something. Well, this year had a little bit of a twist. My mom lives in an assisted living complex. She's gonna be 96 next month. And she'd been falling quite a bit. And no broken bones, thank goodness. But we get, just keep thinking, you know, boy, one bad fall. Are we gonna to wanna to be south like we usually do in the winter, where we serve a church for the winter, a vacancy of some kind, as an interim pastor. Mm -hmm. Are we going to want to be far away if anything happens? Well, then other family members have had some health issues too. We're like, oh my goodness, how far do we want to be? And so we started looking at different options. One was to look at apartments. Well, they're kind of expensive. And then we'd still have to put our RV home into storage, which would add to the expense. The second thing we looked at was maybe buying a mobile home. We would be totally okay living in that small mm -hmm. of a space. We live in 180 square feet now, so mm -hmm. <laughs> moving into something that's about 900 or 1,000 square feet would be huge. <laughs> <laughs> and we found one that's kind of close to two of our kids and not that terribly far from the third and it was close to the moms his mom and my mom we found a mobile home park that we really liked it was the nicest one we've ever seen and it was for 55 plus and we thought well that would be a possibility but then we found out there was a waiting list for that one. We're coming to a parking area. We're almost to the road. <sighs> okay. <laughs> we have no idea how far we've walked, and I'm not, I didn't bring my selfie stick along, so I'm holding this with my hand. Oh my goodness. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> we even considered Gary serving a congregation with a vacancy. There's so many in Wisconsin or somewhere in Minnesota. We didn't bring bug spray either. <laughs> and seeing if uh, there was one with a parsonage. 
so that we could have our RV on the property, which would eliminate that expense. And then we, and then we would serve the church for the winter. We'd have a parsonage to move into temporarily while we're serving. Then we'd be close by. There wasn't anything that was really very close, except one, and it didn't have a parsonage. <laughs> so, we're still looking into that, still looking into some other areas that wouldn't be too far from all those, all the family. Okay, I'm just getting attacked here. We've really been looking into a lot of that, those options over the last couple of months, actually the last three months, and haven't come to a complete decision yet. We normally go south for the winter and serve a church down there. Mosquitoes love me. I am a mosquito magnet. They're not bothering you, are they? No. No, of course not. They're just, oh, look what. <laughs> it's the Cabela's hat. I don't have my usual. Oh, you don't have your Rhodes of Faith, Faith hat, hat on. Cabela's, Cabela's. Hat. That's it. It's an outdoorsy thing. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, have them draw them to you <laughs> instead of me. Okay. So we're trying to come up with a decision over the next uh, period of time that's running very short. <laughs> and, Approximately uh, about two weeks. We came up with an idea <laughs> of just playing a what-if game. So what if I'm not around, what would Orlean do? Cry. What, yeah. <laughs> what if Orlean wasn't around, what would I do? Uh, more of the same. <laughs> but we, we tried doing that and coming to a solution. Didn't work. Because we feel like we might be influencing each other. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, what would we do if it was just our decision alone? Well, obviously, I wouldn't be able to serve a church because I'm not a pastor. And uh, so I can serve in a church as a member somewhere, but I, I wouldn't be able to do that. So that would take that part of the equation out for me. Um, we just, yeah. it didn't work. We decided to just wait and see on that one. Yeah. We tried asking God to send us a, an email or a text or we don't, we don't tweet, so we, don't, we can't do that or a YouTube video or something <laughs> that he would tell us what we should do. But we know that no matter what we would do, God would bless it. So we can't really make a mistake. We wouldn't really be doing the wrong thing because it would be a blessing in one way or another anyway. <sighs> yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> I see home. <laughs> Through the trees there, can you see our home? With our red door and our blue shutters. We've had a few people taking pictures and asking about that. So we're almost back home. Yay. <laughs> that little 20 minute walk turned into about an hour, hour and a half. I don't know. It was over an hour. <laughs> That's all right. That's good. All good. I said we'd be back around 1.30. <laughs> it's only 1.26. We wanted to beat the rain and, and dump the tanks and everything before it started to rain, but then it said it wasn't going to rain and so whatever. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, uh, we will show you some scenery of some of the hikes we've been on, just a little little pictures of, of some of the scenery. It was very pretty, all of them. And just kind of, we'll just combine a few of them together and show you some pictures here at the end. So stick around for that. And you'll want to know what we decided to do. Yes, I will. <laughs> Good thing we did, we put a lot of things away before we left. So we don't have our little deck out that we usually have out, our little pallet deck. And we have to put our lights away and everything. We just got to take the star down and uh, get her hooked up. And we can hit the road. The campground that we're at is Mirror Lake State Park. So anybody who's in Wisconsin or maybe even Minnesota would probably know this park. We have not been here since our girls were younger. 
It's one of the parks that we started out our camping adventures at, so it takes us back in memories of mm -hmm. what we love about this kind of lifestyle. Yep, and we also met some neighbors within five minutes after we got here, which doesn't happen in a hotel or in even in apartments or places like that from our experiences. Um, we we were we stayed in a neighborhood for nine days taking care of someone's cats recently while they were on vacation and we met one neighbor and that was briefly and it wasn't it wasn't to get to know us or anything like that everybody kind of stayed to themselves and it was like this is weird <laughs> we're not used to that so when we came here we met this one couple they've left now but they were right over there and we were within five minutes we met them and we were talking with them and it was like yeah being back in nature hiking and talking to people <laughs> That was really nice, and it brought back why we kind of, one of the big reasons why we chose this lifestyle in the first place. Another reason we chose this lifestyle was because of our kids. We have a daughter and son-in-law and three, now three grandchildren that are in British Columbia, Canada. If you're not familiar with your geography, that's the one that's above Oregon and Washington State on the Pacific Coast. <laughs> a lot of people don't know where BC is. And there have been a lot of issues with passports getting renewed and um, a lot of issues for people going into Canada and uh, they say the borders open on going into Canada not coming out of Canada yet but um, we're not sure when we'll be able to go there it's been over two years since we've seen our family there and so we're hoping for spring but we'll see knows. things change in a moment so we will do a separate video on our passport woes and tell you all about that um boy a lot of things we learned that we did not know about renewing a passport and how much time it takes and how much time you're supposed to do before it expires so we'll be doing a separate video on that so make sure you subscribe so you can see that right now we're going to take you on some of the trails we were on just little highlights of each one and uh well at the end we'll tell you what our decision is stay tuned <laughs>
videos and until next time God, God bless, bless.